Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. I came back home and it is raining outside so no evening flying for me. So I decided to have a party. Well you may ask, party for one? No. I'm going to have an unboxing party for these mini drones that I ordered in the past couple months probably accumulated and never got the chance to open them and start testing them and doing reviews. So I have six boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to grab one and start opening. By the way, some of the boxes are semi-opened, I call it, because I had to take a peek inside. So, like, for example, this one does not have the outside. I just wanted to check inside what is what was inside. So, just to confirm the box. And, uh, so, and also this one. So, let me get started with this one, because this is one of the first ones I purchased from Amazon. This is the Halo Fano S9M mini drone that I got at the same time when I purchased the Dwight Dowlin X2 drone which I already posted a review video of. These were the winners of my sub $30 search on Amazon for a mini drone for myself. If you watch the Snapdain videos that I made with my sons, I got them two Snapdain mini drones right after COVID-19 started uh, just to keep them busy at home playing with something other than their computers and while they were flying and having fun I was a little envious so I decided to get my own drones so that kind of started me in the mini drone and then after just checking uh, Amazon for all you know sub $30 drones I ended up buying that Dwight Dowlin X2 as well as the Halo Fano S9M now this one was not very expensive it was $22.90 from Amazon warehouse it had some damage on the box yeah I mean it's like this is ripped on this side so it went to the warehouse and it says Amazon warehouse deals inspected over here so let's open and make sure that nothing is broken because it has been a couple months since I ordered this and never had a chance oh wow it's tiny so uh, after this uh, party video I'm going to make individual uh, videos reviewing each of these drones in detail so right now I'll be just showing you what I have very quickly just so that this video doesn't end up being a half an hour video like my other videos and some of them may be complaining so it comes like the controller here wow Actually, looks like there are two batteries. Are there two batteries? I'll figure it out. Yeah, one. And it's a very nice uh, two battery charger. And let me quickly show you the little Halo Fano. If I can take this out. But it's tiny. I have to probably press from behind in order to release it from this clamshell. I mean, look at this. This is really small. But one thing that sold me on this uh, is that it has a 720p camera in the front. I don't know how good quality it will be, but for the size of this little thing, I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's really small. So for the size of it, having a camera, I thought, you know, I cannot go wrong. And here is the battery compartment. And so it has all the goodies, but I'm just going to do a proper unboxing later. I'm just showing you what I got and what will be coming in the next two weeks or so in terms of the mini drone videos. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to pick randomly or... Okay, so this one. Uh, it looks like it, I mean, this this color, it comes from banggood.com. So, uh, so if it is banggood, the only thing I was waiting was a really cheap 1099 drone. JJRC drone, JJRC H48 mini drone. I mean, I, I looked at it, it was uh, a little over $10 and plus like $2 shipping. I said, I cannot go wrong with this. I mean, come on, how many times you find like a, something so fun at such a low price? So I decided to buy it. So it's also called uh, BNG, B for blue, G for green, I'm assuming. And I watched a couple videos and people were not very happy to the original version. The controller was not 2.4 gigahertz. It was uh, infrared. Infrared is terrible. 
you know, if you close the front, it just lose connection because it's line of sight. The detector on the drone needs to see. And if this was listed as 2.4 gigahertz, so that's the reason I, I, I decided buying it. Maybe they upgraded since that first uh, review video by RC Sailors, actually. I believe that was done in 2016 or 17. Nope, it is still... <laughs> It is still infrared, so if I knew this, I wouldn't have bought it. So, definitely bad advertising, false advertising. It says specifically here, JJRC H48 2.4G, 4 channel. And by the way, it's not 4 channel. 1, 2, right, left, and then throttle. It's a 3 channel. So, I don't know why they call it 4 channel. So, if I knew this, I wouldn't have bought it, but I'm going to make a video anyway. And probably I'm going to just uh, contact the customer service and tell them, hey, you sent me the wrong one. I was expecting 2.4 years. Let's see if I can get anything back. In the past, the one time I uh, reached out to Banggood, the, the customer service was pretty good and very responsive. So we'll see if they're going to live up to my expectation on this one as well. Let's put this away and go to the next one. Not a big loss. $10.99. Alright, let's open this one. I'm guessing this is one of the drones I recently purchased through eBay. And let's see which one it is because I, I ordered two recently. One was uh, the Hollystone, one of the Hollystone drones, and the other one is DJI or Rise Tello. It's like a, I think the Smallest of high quality, you know, almost a hobby grade drones, the camera drone. So no, this is the Hollystone drone. This is HS370. And I believe I got this for $35, uh, free shipping and plus tax. So it was a little bit around $37 shipped to my door. And it has a 720p camera. Let's, let's see, open it up and if it looks nice. It looked good on on the pictures. So it, it is it is still small. I wouldn't call it micro, it's like a mini drone, definitely. And it looks it's brand new, so it is not refurbished or anything, it's brand new drone. It's not foldable, but it came with two batteries, so that's a good thing. Double the time, flight time. And I, I believe this is the phone holder for the transmitter. Nicely, everything nicely labeled. Again, I'll be doing more in depth videos of all these. I'm just giving you a flavor what I have in stock for you coming up. Nice package and everything looks good. I mean, that's what I will have expected from Hollystone. Hollystone is known for their quality, very nice box, very professional the design box and everything looks good inside. I have high expectations of this one. Okay, this is the other package I received from eBay. Now this is a used drone because I didn't want to cash out the full price for a DJI or Rise Tello. Actually, it's a Rise Tello using DJI and Intel technology. I don't know why they call, keep calling it DJI, but it's Rise brand. And I got the fun version of it. You will see what I mean by the fun version. One of my fam uh, favorite superheroes is Iron Man. So this is the Iron Man edition of the Tello. So this is supposed to be used but in very good condition and here it's just powered by DJI, Intel inside. But if you look into, really search for it, you will find Rice somewhere. Yeah, copyright 2018 Rice Tech, all right, reserved. Okay. This is smaller than I expected. You know, in the pictures and videos that you watch, they look a little bigger. No, it's, it's actually quite good size. 
So this doesn't have a controller, so you control this from your phone app. But I have a game sir game controller that I purchased maybe two years ago. Play games. It is a Bluetooth, and once you connect it to your phone, then you can actually control it through that uh, controller. It came with one battery, and it looks like it is intact. I don't know if it's working, but I'll find out right after this in a little package. So. Uh, this will be one of my next review videos, so stay tuned. Although people have done many of these videos, I just want to give a fresh look of everything in 2020. I know this has been around for a while, is it still a good drone? And I'll try to answer that question for you. What else do I have? So I have another drone that I couldn't resist and open the box already. I even did a like short flight. It is Parrot Mambo Fly and this is a really high quality drone. I know because I already opened it before and looked inside and even did a short flight of it and it is fantastic. I mean it's very high quality and came out I think a couple years ago and Parrot is a I believe French brand and produces and manufactures really high quality also expensive drones. But I found this refurbished. So it says Windsor certified refurbished. And it's really in great condition. I downloaded the app, connected it, and I'll do a proper review at that time. I didn't take any, any videos. It doesn't have a camera or any, anything specific, but it flies really nicely. But you can add stuff on top. So there is there are these four connections, like a Lego block connections. And you can put like a little cannon that shoots out foam balls and I think you can put a camera and different accessories and it will carry those. It has enough power. If I remember correctly, it was selling for about $30 and then I made a couple of offers and the seller accepted my offer of $26. It was free shipping and with the tax, I think it ended up being a little over $27. So. It is fantastic. I mean, it's really high quality. You can tell the way it weights and the plastic quality and everything. And of course, the manual is very nicely written in multiple languages. Very well illustrated. It came with that certified refurbished card by Windsor. And it even has this sheet of stickers and decals that you can put on. So I'm really looking forward to doing a review on this one, although it has been around, but I'm just trying to show you what you can get cheaply. So of course the DJI Tele cannot get for less than $30, but everything else here are less than 30 bucks. So you have a lot of options in 2020. You don't have to buy new, you can buy refurbished if you are a little, uh, willing to take a little bit of risk. In the worst case, you can send it back. So, And the final one, is another Holystone drone. This is a micro drone, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to open this up because I promised my younger son, Kaya, that he can do the review. So I'm going to let him open and uh, video and do a review and I'm going to edit it. So it's all I have, but thank you for watching. Please wait for these. They will be coming in the next two, three weeks. I'll be reviewing each of them in detail and giving you my honest opinion. And I'm not biased because these, everything you see here, I purchased with my hard earned money. So I don't have sponsor, I don't have patrons, I don't receive free products, not yet. And also the number of subscribers, uh, it, it has been increasing gradually. It is uh, right now over 450. And I'm going to make another short video when I reach five, on the day I reach 500 subscribers because I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm not going to tell you what it, I'm going to give away. It's going to be something small, but something really fun and something that I really enjoyed flying. If you haven't subscribed and subscribe, you'll, you'll accelerate the process. So that's coming up on the day I reach 500 subscribers. I'm going to post a video about that giveaway. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned. More review videos are coming of airplanes, RC helicopters. Stay safe and healthy and keep enjoying this wonderful hobby. Take care. Bye-bye.